Wait till you see what we're going to make with this lot. Hello everyone, welcome. This is Marlow Studios. Most of you know what it is. This is the third build on the channel. It's a long time coming. We're stepping it up, we're stepping it up. Still a bit experimental, still something I want to build. Customers can wait. Customers can wait. They probably won't wait. But anyway, this is what we're doing and I'm going to take you through it. This is part one of something a little bit more traditional. Well, I say traditional, it's not traditional. It's kind of traditional. We're going to build a hybrid of guitars here. It's, it's going to be a little bit mental. I want you to come along, watch all of these, share them, show your friends. The next guitar after this one is going on eBay for 1p. That's a promise. So what are you building, Paul? What are you building? What are you building? Firstly, one piece walnut body. Whoa. That is just, it's just it's delightful. Jeff in delightful. That's all I'm saying. One piece, walnut body. As you know, I like the neck to match the body. I like that. So we've got walnut neck. Lovely. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Happy about that. So what's different about this guitar, Paul? What's gonna make you stand out from the rest? Well, we've got a squiggly brown fretboard. And if I'm all honest, it's a type of ebony. I don't know what type of ebony. It's not very nice to work with but this is what we're using for the fretboard. It's very skinny, very skinny. I don't know where it came from, it's been here for ages. The top of this guitar is gonna be a phenomenal, although it doesn't look phenomenal at the minute, bit of Buckeye Burrow something. I forget what it is. I'll have to ask the gentleman that got it off what type of wood it is, because I've forgotten. This is gonna be the top of the guitar. Still poor, but what makes it different? Well, this guitar is gonna have my standard Tele Strat hybrid neck that I like. It's very, it's a little bit individual, but it's not too individual. It's just a bit individual. So that's what we're going with our neck. The difference being, it's going on a Les Paul body because I actually, I happen to like a Les Paul with a six side headstock. I think that looks rather pretty. Um, it's a Les Paul Junior body. It's very diddy. All of my inlays are going to be brass and crushed seashells. It's like I'm reading the menu at a posh. Gordon Ramsay restaurant, crushed seed shells on a bed of brass. So that's what's going on. It's gonna be dirt. The bridge is not gonna be fixed. It's gonna be a, a sort of acoustic bridge that we can move around. It's gonna float on the body. I think that's what I've got in my head. That's what I wanna build. So this, the first job today is to get some of this milled up. Let's get some things looking like the shapes they're supposed to look. We'll get a bit of glue on things and we'll make a start. I've got to machine up this burl top. I don't know how stable it's going to be when it's only five mil thick. It might be a complete failure. And I might be refilming this using a completely different wood. But I hope not, because I paid quite a lot for this. So come along for the ride, guys. Let's, uh, let's get machining. I'll speed it up because it's just tools doing cutting things. <laughs> I'm still in bed, I feel like I'm getting older Sitting in my head and weighing down my shoulders It's what they say, can't believe what they told you So I'll keep wasting my time and I'll continue to mind Forgetting the days when I had a better time Cause when I was younger all oh my fears were in I'm creatively unstable Since I was a day old Running on fumes Sitting alone in this dark room It's quiet now As my head begins to scream out Overthinking simple things My courage is This is gonna be very 
very sexy. This one piece bit of walnut I've got is only 38 mil. In fact, it's a bit less than that in places. So by the time I machine this down, it's only gonna be about 35 mil. So I need a bit of thickness. And we're gonna get the thickness out of our top. Whether I go that way or that way, it's gonna need a lot of epoxy. I've never used this stuff before. You've got to fill all these crevasses with epoxy, which we will do. That will look lovely. So I think I'm just gonna go for some interesting curves on this Les Paul. We'll do a nice arm carve on the side and reveal some of the walnut. We'll do the same in our cutaway here. I might do a PRS style sort of cutaway there just to bring a bit of the walnut through, make it a bit more interesting. And we'll do something cool with the electronics, maybe. I've got to turn the heater off. Sweltering. So tell me what you think this is gonna be like. We've got a very nice, sexy, dark, rippled, ribbed, for his pleasure. Very, very sexy looking bit of kit. Then for our inlays, we'll either go, for our inlays, we'll either go brass or chrome. I want to do a floating bridge, an acoustic style bridge. He's making it up. I am making it up. Bit of brass. We'll have that and then that's gonna be movable on the body. Ooh, that's gonna look awesome. Yeah, that's gonna be movable on a bit of walnut. On a bit of walnut, you said, I said, on a bit of... Got to re reduce the swearing. If you've watched some of the earlier videos, there was some language. And uh, not to say I'm not going to swear anymore, but I will cut it down. Because when you listen back to yourself, common, proper common. Beautiful. P90, three-way switch. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Volume tone. Blah. That's how I'm playing it. That's how I'm playing this. Hmm. Tempting. Temptations. So what I'm gonna have to do now is just get this thickness up so that it looks all delightful. I'm gonna get the edges machined nicely so I can glue them up. We'll get this bit glued and clamped. That'll do for today. Don't know why I've got a nut out. Jumping the gun. I'm gonna get these machined up. Have a little look at how we do that. It's hell of interesting. <laughs> One pass, that's all that needed. Why did it need one pass? Because someone spent Saturday setting up the planar thickness of a new blades. The planar thickness or so that is gonna be delightful. It is that way. Let's get them glued up. Et voila. Bit of tip, don't wanna glue up my clamps. If you watched the Pink Jazz Master video and you enjoyed it, thank you very much. If you haven't watched it, why haven't you watched it? Go back and watch it. I also did a series where I built a pallet wood guitar, which was very popular. People like to watch you build crap out of crap. This wood is very porous. So we'll get plenty on there. Right, I want to get him quite flush on the top, which is going to mean not very level on the bottom. Right, that ain't bad there. It's actually quite flat. I'm going to clamp it to the clamps, just with a couple of speedies. Tidy up the squeeze it. Set this aside to simmer, gas mark four. Hopefully that wood is gonna behave because it doesn't seem as though it's gonna. What's the next step for getting things prepped up? We have got to router our body. So let's router the body. It's not hard, is it? How do we router the body, Paul? Well, we are gonna screw this bad boy down. And we can screw it down because we've got a cap going on. So you can screw it down. So screw it down, treat yourself. I'm gonna screw it on the center line so that I know where my center line is. Couple of cheeky screws. Not any old screws. You always wanna use cheeky screws. Make sure you're in the neck pocket and we've got plenty of overlap everywhere. And it goes, he's fixed on. Booty. Don't get much easier than that, does it? No, Paul, it doesn't. Can't do that with our neck, so we'll use a bit of double-sided tape and glue. Mm. Mm. 
Thank you for your suggestions in the comments about the YouTubers I should watch. Some interesting ones there that I didn't watch before. But it's stuck in me ways. Still waiting for Howden's to sponsor a video. Tighter than the vicar's daughter. And we lean. Leaning. Okay, let's set a terrifying router bit up and we can profile these little cheeky bad boys. Follow me. Follow me, this swag, this swag. Gonna use this cheeky way devil here. It's mm. oh, an absolute wallop. Eyes and ears are a must. Not those though, that was just for the camera. Magic. Fire and hold. Absolutely, absolutely terrifying. I don't like that right of it very much. It's a bit scary, but there you go. So we've got a neck blank. We've got a body blank. Let's get rid of them. We know where the center line is of that body blank because we've drawn our lines on the center line. So we can mark that on. Although to be fair, you could do with a bit of a sand. I'm not gonna chamber this body out because it is very, very light. Just so happens they've got scales. Wow. Wow. Eight pounds exactly. So we're going very, very authentic. We're going all woods, oils. Um, I'm gonna finish it with Rubio Monaco. Protect your wood with one layer, one application of wood protection. Every teenage boy's dream. So we're gonna finish with one of them. Right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna bung this through the thicknesser and get this body blank looking a bit tidier. Just needs a little bit of a whip through. So I'm gonna do that, I'll film it. Oh, we'll whip through it and do some thicknessing. If there's one thing I don't need, and that is to be thicker. Well, I'm also gonna need to sand this. Sorry, a bit deaf, got my ears in. Gonna need to sand this off. Just give it a little, little touch. Come along. Right, so what have we got so far? We've got a body with a center line approximately marked on it. When it comes to the fit and finish of this guitar, I'm really gonna take my time. I'm gonna try and do the best fret job I've ever done in my life. Because I've been looking at pictures like this and like this, and that, that to me is just bravo, bravo to these people. Um, the only reason that my frets don't look as sweet as that, and let's be honest, not many people's do, but the reason mine don't is time. I am a rusher. Don't be a rusher. We're not gonna rush this. We can rush the boring bits, chopping shit out and stuff, but we don't have to rush the finish. So I'm not gonna. So, walnut neck, walnut body. Look at that, it's gonna look, oh, creme de month. Cram them up. I'll do something on the back of Les. I hate the access on Les Paul's. Hate it. So by the time we let this in, I'm going to do something here and really thin out the back of this guitar. We'll do something a bit original. Pfft, I don't know what. We'll make a template and we'll router a load out there and we'll and we'll get a nice 
sexy little step. Just make that look a bit, make it feel a bit sweeter. I find leg, Les Paul's is like a house brick at the bottom. So we don't want that, do we? And we have got, I've had these custom, custom P90s. Um, I just took a chance on a guy on Instagram who, who's from England and I bought these and uh, they are classically wound. So we're gonna go with them. Bit of some sexy P90s. Freeway switch, volume and tone. Don't know what to do about my knobs yet. To be honest, I've never had a P90 guitar. So I'm half tempted to try them out. We'll do some nice shielding and uh, we'll keep things a little bit simple. Spat on the wood there. Don't look too close. Don't look too close everyone, he's disgusting. Don't know whether to do like a funky colour when I'll fill in the barrel on that barrel top. Bit of black, sparkly black. Bit of copper in it. Copper in the, in the black. Black in the black. Well that'll do, wrap it up for today. Let's um, I'm gonna have a tidy up. And away we whirl. See you in a minute. Watch this for a bit of magic. Here we go, there you go, TV magic. Simple, getting the hang of this, getting the hang of this. Right, before we conclude today's video, what do I wanna do? We're not hollowing out this thing because it doesn't weigh a lot, so we don't need to. And I like a bit of heft, we're having a bit of heft. If you don't like it, make your own. Just to conclude this video today, we've got a top. <clears throat> Just in case you didn't know, oh, about 13 hours have subsided since I last saw you. All right, so let's pop this out of the clamps. Whoa! I still have to thickness this a little bit and give it a bit of love. We're gonna do it on the sander. We're not gonna rush it. We're gonna take our time with that, get it nice and sweet, and then I'll get it glued onto the body. Bit of tape on me clamps so that we don't get them all skanky. Don't know who taught me that, but thank you, whoever it was. Are you a tidy luthier? I saw some pictures on Instagram yesterday of some workshops that I would shit my pants if I walked into. They were horrific. Be tidy workers. Even if you've got no space, my first little workshop looked like this. It was always immaculate. Always immaculate. Keep a tidy workspace, folks. It's safer. So we're gonna get this thickness down and then we're gonna get it sanded and I wanna get it glued onto the body because I'm gonna to have to start filling all these gaps with epoxy. That's a multi-stage event, apparently. So we're gonna get this thickness and stuck on so that when I come back tomorrow, I can start that arduous task. Now I had to run that through a hell of a lot because there were some bandsaw marks in there. I wanted to go really slowly, didn't want to thickness plane it because I didn't know how this was going to react. Um, I'm going to also going to have to be careful when I'm PVA in this body up because I don't want it all squeezing through all these pores because I want to be able to get some epoxy in there. So I'm going to have to be a bit mindful and a little bit light with the glue. So standard practice, let's get about 40,000 clamps. Oh. Don't buy shack clamps. Very simple little glue up this one. We've got nothing going on inside the body so far. No, do I want to locate it with a screw? Nah, not gonna bother. Don't overcomplicate it, Paul. Bit of glue, tight bond. We all love a bit of tight bond, don't we? If you're not using tight bond, you're not a luthier. I think my nozzle might be a touch restricted. Excellent. Try not to get too much heavy breathing in that. We'll just make sure the coverage is even. Okay, so we're nicely lined up there. A light pinch. Make sure we've got a bit of wood. I left a bit of meat on there. You've always got to leave a bit of meat. 
Once I know my position's good, yes, yeah, there's already some glue coming through there. Yeah, there's glue coming through all the holes. Then we'll just get a couple that reach into the middle. I think that'll do. There's some glue spots coming through here, which you can probably see, but actually it's all right. There you go, right, that's in. Yeah, the way. Okay, so that's video one. We'll call it the meat and the potatoes. That's the meat and potatoes. We've got everything done. We've, we've chopped out, we've got things glued up, we've got stuff in stuff. We are ready to start making a guitar with the crap we've just created. Only this time, she's gonna be very, very pretty. Natural. Make sure you set the notification. Dinger. Just I only upload on a Sunday afternoon. Sunday lunch times I aim for. Come and watch every Sunday. Have a glass of wine later and watch it. The missus will probably hate it. Headphones at the ready. <laughs>